and said to KNU there's a I mean, restriction about using or trafficking drugs. So it's still going on, and then people inside the KNU or KNLA, you know, uh, they are not involved in this. But as I said, you know, when there's a blogish or you know, or a big, I mean, searching or restricted from the northern Thailand, we start going down to Lower Burma, Rangoon, and then they come up from Malmain and then to the border area. Some going to the sea and then to Malaysia or oh, wherever you know. But what I mean is, you know, there are some routes. Uh, who coming up from Mass Hot area or Three Bagoda Pass that pass through the territory where the KNU or Newman State Party are there. Mm -hmm. So, but the organization is not involved with this. Mm -hmm. uh, the reputation dealing with drugs, you know, as you look at the newspaper, you will see some of the TKB members. They're involved in this drug trafficking. So, but I don't want to blame them. I don't want to put the blame on them also, because this is maybe they are, they were used by the SPDC, but there's no good evidence to show that the SPDC involved with this. We try to find out or trying to get some documents or evidence that they are involved in this, but we can get only the small part uh, of what the SPDC involved. Would the drug using, I uh, think that the international as well as our own people, you know, don't want, you know, to be involved there uh, for survival or to get the resource, you know, we don't want to use that one. Uh, we've got a lot of opportunity, you know, if we would like to do that thing. Because, you know, in Papun area, it's a very good area for poppy growing. Mm -hmm. But people don't, I mean, allow, you know, things for going up and uh, have a bad reputation about drugs in, in our own area. And the other thing is, you know, when the SPDC uh, trying to, you know, recruit more soldiers and trying to force more soldiers you know, to be at the front line at the time they use drug. And then when we capture some of the uh, Burmese soldiers, we, we got also some you know, drugs inside their own pocket. And then we send it to Chiang Mai. At the time we know that they they start using this amphetamine, but it, it's called in different names. Mm -hmm. And you know, and the other thing is drug. I think that for the Korean, uh, I don't think you know it's a good uh, uh, things you know to to be involved and to to use that one. Unfortunately, while people are in the camps, you know, I think that there's a lot of uh, we can say these things. And started to happen, not not inside the uh, the organization, but people inside the camps. The refugee camps. Yes, uh, I'm afraid of this, you know. So there's, um, of, co of course, I imagine there's a high degree of addiction within the camps and trafficking and all kinds of things, right? Uh, I'm not sure because you know the camp was inside the Thai territory, and then Thai also would like to, you know. They bring in this effect into the camps. Mm -hmm. So it was all over, you know, places. So it's also affect to the refugees' population also. Mm 